Hey guys, welcome back to another layout video. This video is going to focus on my lift out section. I've had a number of people request to follow along on my build of that. They were interested in uh, how I was going to do that. So let's get started on the lift out section. Uh, this might not be anything that uh, is new to you guys either, but uh, so far people have enjoyed watching what I do even if it's repetitive. <laughs> so. Uh, I hope you enjoy and thanks for following along. Alright, I've already started on this off camera a little bit. I apologize for that. But I wanted to make sure what I was planning to do um, look, looked like it was going to work. So, uh, what I have is this is the board that will be my lift out. I've already cut it to the length I need. It is a simple 1x6 uh, premium pine board. Um, so, we have that. Now I have some different thicknesses of, of uh, base wood here uh, because I'll show you in the uh, upcoming video here that I need to do some shimming to bring it up to the same level as the foam board. So let me show you what I'm talking about. As you can see I already notched out where my lift out will be and I notched it out on this side too and then this is where the lift out is going to rest on this side. So that's just stuck in there temporary right now. It's not permanently mounted yet. Um, but as you can see, when I sit this in here, we're not up at the same height as the foam board. So that's where these pieces come in handy. I will be uh, basically shimming that underneath there and uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about as we go forward. Also, as this is in here, the lift out will not go all the way back to the edge there, which is the meaning of this. I will have that shimmed up to the same height, but I need a permanent mounting spot for my track on either side of that so I know it doesn't move. I'm not just going to rely on gluing it to a foam board. I, I believe there will be too much movement in it. Um, same with on this side. So that's where I'm at in this project. Uh, and uh, stay tuned here for the next step. Alright, now I've noticed that I needed a 3 16 inch shim to bring it up to the height of the foam board. So what I did, I already started marking that and I'm just gonna score it. I keep scoring it with my utility knife till I score right through it. It's not real real hard wood so it you know it's it's fairly easy to do. So let's continue with that. There we go. I just score and cut. All right, now that we have our uh, piece of uh, 3 16 inch wood cut to the proper size, let's test it out. I'm going to put that down in there in the bottom. As from before, that's our other piece. Check it out. Now that brought that right up flush with the foam board. Actually, I think it would be better if I tried to keep it the same way. There, that's actually a lot better. So there, now that brought that up flush with the foam board. Should be no issues there. So what I'm going to do I'm going to Gorilla Glue this down to the bench work because I want that to not move. So if you've never used Gorilla Glue, you know you just wet both sides, 
put some glue on, clamp it, wait till it dries. I'm not going to force you to watch that part of this, so hang tight. Alright guys, now everything's uh, dry that I glued. Our next step is to uh, secure this, figure out how we are going to secure it. Uh, the way we're going to do that, I bought these brass furniture dowels. I got them on eBay. Uh, they did come from another country, I can't remember offhand. But uh, I'm going to use four of those, two on either side. Uh, as my means to secure this when it's uh, in place. So let me uh, clamp this down so it doesn't move and then we're going to drill our holes for these brass dowels. They are uh, 10 millimeter dowels. Alright now I have the, uh, the lift out clamp down so it doesn't move. I marked uh, two areas on here where I want to drill my holes for my, uh, my dowels, my brass dowels. Um, uh, what I just did, as I, I felt for me, I went one inch in from either side, and since I only have a one inch clearance this way, I only, you know, I split that to a half inch. Now, uh, the easiest way to do this, to where you can get both pieces of these to line up perfectly, is just drill straight down through the top, all the way down through your bench work. That way, you have a perfect matching hole on both sides, and I'm using one of these. Um, Brad point, uh, if you can see that, Brad point drill bits with the point on the end of it. That way I can get it started without the drill bit walking on me. And you want to try the, the best you can to keep this, um, to keep your uh, drill bit, uh, what do I want to say, perfectly vertical level, um, so you make a nice straight hole all the way down through. So we're going to do that right now. did move a little bit on me. Um, hopefully it didn't cause a problem until I can get both pieces of uh, or just at least get one of the dowels in and then I should be good to go. It should hold it a lot better. In case you're wondering how I knew what size drill bit to use, I basically uh, took my caliper and measured these um, and it came out to uh, roughly a three-eighths of an inch. Three-eighths of an inch uh, drill bit should be slightly smaller than these dowels, which we will hammer into place. Now I'm going to unclamp that so we can get one dowel in here anyways, and then I'll reclamp it. That one dowel, dowel will, will help keep everything in place. And we have a nice hole right through there. Now I've decided to uh, put the male end of the, the dowel in the uh, in the lift out part of it. And what we'll do, you want to take the other end. You don't want to be hammering on on that nice uh, nice end of it there. So go ahead and put this piece back on it and what we'll do is we'll take a nice little block of wood and hammer from this end of it. That way you're not damaging that that nice dowel. And what we want to do is just hammer that down in their place. It's, it's fairly snug now so it should be re relatively nice. So I'm just going to hammer that down in right now, and it's probably going to make my camera jump. Yes, it does. I might not be able to show you this, but that's what we're going to do. So uh, hang tight there. All right, guys, I got my dowel um, hammered in. 
as you can see. And I have the other end already hammered down in the hole here. Let me see if I can show you that. I know there's the lighting's bad on this side of the layout yet, so I apologize for that. But uh, what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna put this back in. We got the one down now to help hold it. Just like that. I'm gonna clamp this down again and we're gonna drill another hole and another dowel. Alright, have it back down, have it clamped again. I'm gonna drill my second hole. I'll do the same thing with this this hole as I did the other one. I'm going to hammer the dowels in place. All right, I set the camera up over here on the tripod. That way, uh, I can show you what I'm doing as far as hammering these in without uh, bouncing the camera around. Basically, we have our dowels right here, and uh, you want to put the male end in first so you can hammer on this end. You don't want to uh, you don't want to damage that, like I said. So. Well, actually, that hole ended up being a little bit bigger, so I don't even need to hammer it. It is snug. It slid down in. If I need to, I can always just put some glue around that and uh, hold it in place. But I guess I didn't have to do any hammering on that one. So here we have uh, both our dowels in, and uh, I got to put this end in the other hole yet, and then we'll move on to the other ones. All right, I have all my dowels put in right now. There's two on that side, two on that side, and as you can see, there they are on either side of my lift out. Now, all we do then, I know, I would have the tripod up, but it's not where I'm at, it's not going to show up very well. So, there we go. Now it just sits in there like that. Nice and secure. Now the next step will be uh, um, setting this up for track and and uh, powering it. Running the power to it for the track. Uh, so that will be the next trick that I want to show you. It'll be the first time I've tried it. Hopefully it works. But uh, that's it for uh, right now. And uh, I'll catch you... Uh, on the next uh, section of this. Um, I don't know if it will be immediately following this clip or if I'll have it in a, a part two, but uh, stay tuned. Here's another quick shot of it. Got the Nice brass dowels. Just lift it out. All right. Moving right along.